Welcome to our review on alkenes. So the alkenes are forms of hydrocarbons. So they're made of hydrogen and carbon only. And they form a homologous series because they've got features in common. So the alkenes are unsaturated, which means they contain at least one double bond and they have the same general formula. The general formula for the alkenes that we need to know is CnH2n. So make sure you know that because then we can apply the same rules of naming as we did before with the number of carbon atoms giving us the first part of the name, so prop being three, bute being four, etc. And then if we see Ene as the ending, then we know it's an alkene, and therefore we apply our general formula of CnH2n to give us the number of hydrogens. Just beneath I've given you the displayed formula for an alkene, in this case it's propene, and you can tell it's propene because there are three carbons. So when you're asked to draw the displayed formula for an alkene, start off by drawing your three carbons or four carbons, however many it asks you to do in a line. Put a double bond between two of them, and then make sure that every carbon has four bonds, going careful not to add an additional one onto any that have got the double bond touching it. Finally, add on your hydrogens and then you can use your general formula as a quick check to make sure you've got the right number. If we now turn our attention to the reaction of the alkenes, the first thing is the combustion reactions. And what we find is that when we're talking about alkenes, because they're a hydrocarbon, then they will undergo the combustion reactions with the same products as the alkanes. So complete combustion with carbon dioxide and water, incomplete combustion, carbon, carbon monoxide, and of course, our water. The next phrase we need to be aware of is this one functional group. So when we talk about the functional group, we're referring to atoms or groups of atoms or the types of bonds that are present in a molecule which are responsible for the characteristic reactions of it. So in the case of the alkenes, the functional group is the C double bond C. So that's the functional group, it's the group of atoms and the bond which give it the characteristic reactions. The next reaction we're going to look at are addition reactions. Now, addition reactions are where atoms or groups of atoms combine with a molecule to form a larger molecule with no other product. So we're basically just sticking on those atoms to the existing molecule. So a good example of this are the addition polymers. If you have a test tube with an unknown chemical in there and you need to work out whether it's an alkane or an alkene, then we can do a simple test using bromine water. Bromine water itself is an orangey brown colour and when it's added to an alkene, then it changes to a colourless compound. So what we're actually doing in this is we're carrying out an addition reaction. We start off with our alkene, in this case ethene, we add bromine, which is Br2, and then the bromine adds on to the ethene. So we end up making a chemical called dibromoethane. So two bromines joined on to ethane, which is an alkane. So you can see the formula at the bottom there. All we do is you just add on the Br2 to the end of it. The rest stays the same. Another way we can use this addition reaction with our alkenes is to actually form alkanes. So if we have our alkene and we add hydrogen in the presence of a nickel catalyst, then that hydrogen will join to the alkene to form an alkane. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can name the first four straight chain alkenes and draw their displayed formula. You can explain why the alkenes form a homologous series. You can recall the general formula for the alkenes. You can predict the products of reactions of the alkenes. You can describe the test for the alkenes using bromine water. And you can describe how functional groups determine the reactions of our organic compound of the alkenes.